Okay, Chris, take it away. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining. My name is Chris Wick, National Coordinator for NETCO, and what I'm going to talk to you today about is the Online Apprenticeship Support Initiatives for Success Project. But before I do that, I want to give a special shout out to Adrian. Congratulations on your Leadership Excellence Award. That's awesome. Continue to do the great work that you do. We're looking forward to seeing more from you in days to come. I'd also like to point out um, our new and fresh looking NECO logo, along with the official Oasis logo for the project. As you can see on this presentation, I'm very excited about this project and its capabilities. So let's get started. The development and implementation of OASIS is a project NECO had partnered with the following to facilitate. Employment and Social Development Canada, the National Electrical Trade Council, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Canadian Electrical Contractors Association, Saskatchewan Polytechnic, Skill Plan, Build Force, Indigenous Works, and the Electrical Training Alliance. Based on the impacts of COVID-19 and emerging industry trends, NECO has recognized the ever-growing importance and need of a virtual platform with the flexibility to deliver training no matter the applicant's location. So this virtual platform will deliver the following. Purposeful support to ensure best possible outcomes, essential skills, lower non-completion rates, and skills upgrading in the emerging, sec emerging sectors of the electrical industry, for example, green energy projects. Following what this project will deliver, NECO wanted to highlight one of the main priorities OASIS was designed to address, which is to reduce barriers surrounding the following obstacles. Apprentices with limited language capabilities, appropriate mentorship matching, financial literacy access, academic upgrading, and mental health awareness tools. Moving forward, this project's objectives are designed to reduce barriers and assist positive apprenticeship outcomes using innovative approaches and best-in-class practices. Therefore, objective number one involves the creation of an online platform designed to provide support and additional resources to electrical apprentices by diminishing apprenticeship completion barriers, which will be achieved through a national comprehensive learning management system, provided support at each level of the apprenticeship, and supplemental training and supports in order to ultimately further completion and grant Red Seal certification. The second objective was to design an online platform that provides support for online deliveries of courses for both employees and employers alike. Certain courses include respect and inclusive workplaces, psychological first aid, mentorship training, academic upgrading and essential skills, and updated test taking strategies. These courses will provide accessibility for apprentices regardless of their level in the apprenticeship and an additional two intakes of underrepresented groups per year. The final project objective is to establish access to innovative green energy programs which expose apprentices to introductory methodologies and technology. Previously established innovative green energy programs were only available post Red Seal certification. Therefore, it became increasingly critical to provide this program engagement amongst apprentices prior to their certification. Thus, carried out with the project, four programs will be developed with an additional six to be determined after extensive research and industry consultations. And some course examples would include Introduction and Advance to PV Solar, Introduction and Advance to Electric Vehicle Infrastructure, Introduction and Advance to Energy Storage and Smart Grids, and Alternative Energy Generations. The total funding and in-kind contribution forecasted for the project is as follows. 
Employment and Social Development Canada is contributing a total of $4,979,282. Whereas the forecasted cash and in-kind contributions total amount of $5,350,000. Which brings us to a forecasted projected total of $10,300,000. $29,282. Months one and two completed work included the establishment of a project steering committee in terms of reference, recruitment of a project team, provide consultation with the stakeholders, recruitment of an online development team, conducting key activity scoping exercises with the steering committee, create work plan for key activities presented to the steering committee for approval and the signing of agreements with partnered organizations. Presently, months three to five will include consultation with stakeholders and indigenous leaders, multicultural associations and black Canadians. Establishing the Equity Advisory Committee, which will be comprised of eight representatives. Designing and implementing the Marketing and Recruitment Plan in partnership with NECO, Saskatchewan Polytechnic, IBW, and SICA. The development of academic upgrading for online materials and supports, and the implementation of a language management software in both English and in French. Providing training and necessary supports for trainers, initiating the use of digital assessment tools, the launching of Red Seal interprovincial upgrades for online materials and supports, and finally, the launching of the Women in Electrical Connect resource hub. Following that will be the business to be carried out in months six to eight, which will include the establishment of subject matter experts development committee, development of online facilitating online learning course for the IBW trainers, launching of the mentorship training, the development and implementation of the financial literacy toolkit, and finally the implementation of leadership training. Month nine to 11 will include the launching of Indigenous Apprentices, Black Canadians and New Canadians and Electrical Connect Resource Hub. Launching a respectful and inclusive workplace training. Development and implementation of mental health awareness toolkits, including the launch of the psychological first aid training, which would be Red Cross certified. And finally, conducting industrial standard research for the remaining six green energy programs. Months 12 to 53 will include the following business, review and updating of test taking strategies to produce in paper and online formats of such documents. The implementation of faci facilitating online learning programming, implementation of academic upgrading, online materials and supports, selection and development of the remaining six green energy courses. the implementation of Indigenous Leadership and a Resiliency course, development and implementation of multiple online introductory and advanced courses in both language, and carry out both the intakes for the underrepresented groups. The courses developed and implemented in the timeframe will be PV Solar, Energy Storage and Smart Grid, Alternative Energy Generations, and then courses five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and the electrical vehicle infrastructure training course, each of which will be offered in both French and English. Months 54 to 60 will include the review, revision, and improvement of the online programming. Finally, with months 57 to 60, will include designing and implementation of a sustainability plan and the preparation for submittance of the final report to the Employment of Social Development of Canada. Uh, 
The projected outcomes of OASIS will deliver the following. Accessible on, onboarding to online learning for electrical premises. Creation and implementation of a national learning management system for the use by members of IBW local unions. Creation and implementation of marketing and promotional plan to inform apprentices of resources and supports available through the learning management system. The intention to reduce financial impacts by providing asynchronous learning through the learning management system, which will alleviate the need for apprentices to take time off of work. An increase in overall number of apprentices participating in online training. An increased number of apprentices receiving learning supports. A large quantity of apprentices and employers receiving formal training and psychological first aid as well as a larger quantity of apprentices receiving supplemental tools for success, which is associated with the stress of participating in learning, such as financial literacy and mental health toolkits. The availability of an electronic training calendar available to the local unions to utilize while scheduling apprentices in for their training, the development and implementation of national green energy programs for the apprentices, and finally, the creation of the online resource hub network for underrepresented groups. Additionally, outputs OASIS will produce include the creation of green energy training programs for apprentices participation, which will be provided across multiple jurisdictions. A larger quantity of enrollment and participation of those belonging to the underrepresented groups increased apprenticeship completion rates. Barriers faced during enrollment will be addressed and reduced. Improved mobility for apprentices as training will be identical across all jurisdictions through this online platform. The online platform grants apprentices networking capabilities between mixed classes and multiple jurisdictions across Canada. Reduced cost for the development and delivery of training and assessment materials. Reduce, reduce costs for training and apprenticeship participation. Removal of barriers surrounding living remotely to attend the training. Seamless transition of apprenticeship training records from one local union to another through this online learning platform. National mentor matching of apprentices to journey persons for the same underrepresented groups, as well as enhanced and industry engagement and training requirements related to new and developing technologies. <clears throat> Honorary mention would include information and best practice on interjurisdictional cooperation and collaboration, a national base to support consistent training programs for apprentices across all jurisdictions. As a result of this project, Workers and employers will begin to see the benefits for all. For example, these benefit workers and apprentices alike based on the following. Nationally standardized training. Supplemental training and support to ensure apprentice success. Continued upskilling throughout their apprenticeship. Reduced financial impacts while attempting to upskill. and ease of training access for those in remote or rural areas. And for employers, reduce costs for developing and implementing the training, a mobilizing workforce with nationally standardized training, completion of apprenticeship training in more timely manner, a highly trained workforce with, workforce with best in class practices, and the development of a competitive edge based on a newly standardized and highly trained workforce with knowledge and expertise about new and emerging technologies. One of the primary intentions the OASIS project is to facilitate the removal of barriers surrounding systemic racism. This project was designed to improve and benefit the experiences of those belonging to the marginalized and underrepresented groups wishing to enter the electrical trade. The OASIS project provides multiple factors that contribute to a barrier-free learning environment that encourages and facilitates apprentices, 
oh, sorry, apprenticeship success and completion. The following are expected are aspects facilitated in the creation of the OASIS platform. Upholding inclusivity and equality, improvement of efficiency and apprenticeship accessibility, prioritizing very free, barrier free online education for those belonging to minorities or underrepresented groups. Provides two entry level intakes for those belonging to the minorities within Canada. Development and implementation of a stakeholder committee with representative from, representatives from those underrepresented groups. And all programs are developed in both official languages, those being English and French. This is done with the intention of decreasing and or removing all barriers that will ultimately increase the enrollment of those belonging to the marginalized portion of the population. So this is the home page. So picture here is the Echo and Oasis homepage. Along the very top of the taskbar on the far left, you see the NETCO homepage tab, as well as the course catalog, which is the nine symmetrical boxes on your right, currently undergoing construction. However, following completion, it will drop down and display all of the open and ongoing courses each participant is enrolled in. Besides the course catalog is the instant mail and notification center where students can communicate with educators and fellow participants on the far right side is a drop down bar uh, displaying profile, notification, and account settings, as well as a tool that illustrates participants' progress summaries. Then below the NECO homepage tab is another tab, sorry, another taskbar displaying course content, resources, including course calendar, important links, your online library, and plenty more. Participants also have quick access to course assessments, media, and online supports. And then displayed below is the news feed with three other courses. The first being working in a respectful and inclusive workplace. Secondly is the essential skills assessment and preparation guide for the electrical trade. And finally, mentorship matters, each of which are in the final stages of construction, and we hope to have them up and running by September of this year, 2021. And then displayed below each course description is a hyperlink directing students to their course registration and login sites. So once participants have clicked the hyperlink embedded within the download of the registration site, which will direct you to a series of enrollment instructions, which we'll see a little bit later. Such as this. Displayed here is an example of what the respectful and inclusive workplace registration instructions will outline. Once applicants have arrived here, they will follow the three simple steps to complete their course enrollment. Step one is to click the hyperlink, which will redirect participants to step two, which is the BuildForce registration site, where they will then click to register and enroll. And finally, step three, type in their PIN and begin the course. These 10 courses were developed as asynchronous, which will essentially allow participants to complete as their schedule see fit. We understand that many people have multiple things on the go and busy daily life. So they were developed to relieve stress and tightly scheduled daily routines, allowing our participants to log on wherever and whenever. Also, following the completion of construction, of course, catalogs will display the 10 courses in the drop down menu on the right hand side, creating a seamless transition from one ongoing course to another. Still, we would like to point out this is in the preliminary stages, and we will continue to update and refurbish the site consistently. We will, however, provide you with all the regular updates detailing our advancements and achievements. So now I'm going to try this and see if we can go live.
So hopefully now you can see my screen that is with Saskatchewan Polytechnic. We've logged on to the home page. And here and here you'll see the news feeds with the working and respectful inclusive workplace, essential skills assessment and preparation guide for the electrical trade, and mentorship. As described before, if you click on the registration PDF, you'll open it, it'll take you to this link, which then would take you to the BuildForce website. Click to register and enroll and enter your PIN. PINs will be distributed through the steering committee. You have course content tabs, which has the course scheduling, bookmarks, and different resources for the students. What I'll do is take us back to the presentation. Finally, we would like to thank all of our partners, but with specific shout outs to Saskatchewan Polytechnic, Skill Plan, Build Force, and SICA for their aid with development and the implementation of OASIS. We know this is a huge undertaking and we're so very fortunate to have your expertise, abilities, and time to aid in the facilitation of this project. Once again, my name is Chris Wick, NECO's National Coordinator. That's my email address and phone number. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to give me a show. Are there any questions? Before I get to the questions, I guess there's one last thing I need to remind everybody of. Please remember to grab a drink and go to the next session with Candy Palmerton our entertainment for this afternoon. If you have any other family members that wish to join you, please do that for the exciting show. I'll take it off screen here for, uh, for questions. So I have one here that says, uh, who is eligible to use this? And is, this, or is there a one-time or regular fee apprentices pay to use? So for right now, it's offered to the IBW uh, apprentices. And then the pins that we have and other things that have already been prepaid will go through the steering committee and then be delivered as such. I hope that answers that question. I don't see any other questions. So if there are no other questions, um, take the few minutes to, uh, like I said, grab yourself a drink and then sign into the next section for your, um, for the entertainment. 
Thank you very much for joining in. Have a great day.